They tried to convert a revolutionary movement into a reformist party within British rule. They went to Leicester House, they went to Stormont, they stopped the war for the first time in Irish history. Yes, they destroyed the weapons given to them for the freedom of Ireland. We see it as a strengthening of British rule here in that it aims to include the nationalist people uh, actively participating in British rule. In other words, to make more difficult uh, the job of ending the English presence in Ireland. As long as the British government remains in Ireland, history teaches us there will be those in Ireland who will oppose that. And we uphold the right of the Irish people to resist British rule in Ireland. They are now in the trenches of the enemy and they are about to don the uniforms of the enemy and do the enemy's work. The first duty of any police force is to uphold the state. After that it deals with law and order as it's called. But to uphold the state and the state in Ireland is British rule here. As long as the British government remains in Ireland there will be resistance to it and there will always be a revolutionary movement in Ireland. This, that is the teaching of Irish history. Anyone who bothers to study it will see that.